Is While the Iron's Hot worth our time? We're about to find out. Welcome, everyone, to episode 175 of One Hour, One Decision, 1H1D. I am Chris. And I am Tom. And we take 60 minutes and play a random game on Xbox Game Pass and decide, well, Tom, can I not strike it while it's hot? I I suppose you could avoid striking it, Chris, but then uh, I think you lose the game. Hmm. That's a good point. We are going to be talking about this game, While the Iron's Hot, by Bontemps Game. It's Uh, a good time. (laughs) It is. Is that is that what that means? I don't even know. Yeah, and in, oh, in, yeah. in French, in French. There you go. Thank you. Bon temps. I can't say. I can't speak French. But bon temps. I can say this game came out in uh, November of 2023, simultaneously on the PC, Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and the full series consoles. Everything. Multi platform. Mul- I mean, good good on them for doing mm-hmm. that, a multi-release like that. Uh, I play this on the PC. It was 1.81 gigabytes on the PC. Tom, what about you? I have it in as 2.24 gigabytes on the Series S. Wow. That's quite quite a big yeah. jump. Yeah. You know, it happens. There are, there are games that take up less space than that. We've played some. We have. We have. Uh, more recently, uh, I think Little Gator Game was one of them. And that wasn't even a yeah, that was a 3D game. This is now a 2D game, right? And let's get so into that. What, <laughs> what kind of game is this, Tom? I have side scrolling exploration slash crafting. Okay. I put retro art style 2D side scrolling adventure game. There's there's a lot there. I agree with it. <laughs> I was trying to encompass like the adventure part is just like all the different things you get to do, which you mentioned, like exploration and crafting and all that yes. nonsense. But uh, let's get into that game loop, though. Yes. So I have traversed the world and complete quests by crafting items through mini games. That's good. That's good. I went very, very generic here. And I put make stuff for people so you can make better things for other people. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, that's that was that was basically what I thought I was doing in that hour. Uh, it is it is quite a loop, <laughs> unlocking the ability to craft even more complex items. Yeah, yeah, complexity is maybe the name of the game as you are playing as a blacksmith in this game, Tom. Yes, indeed. If the title didn't give it away, uh, yeah. you are a uh, young blacksmith. Looking to make a, a name for yourself, and you travel to a place where they need a blacksmith. They do. And you you set up shop, and you get to work. Yeah, and uh, now we let's get to work on what our likes are, Tom. Well, I gotta say, the title screen music was mm. like really good. I really like. Yeah, it. I really like that t- title theme. It was very epic sounding. I'd say overall, I thought the music was was pretty good in, in the game, and I think it well. We kind of kind of talk about it on our dislikes here, but jump in the gun. But it did it did like really carry the 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 game uh, in, in a way forward um, because like yeah you like uh, kind of kind of talking about the intro of this game. You start off as this blacksmith who gets on a ship who's going on to this get to this new uh, new world, uh, new land, and try to make something of himself. Your world, you you kind of you start start to play the game on the ship, and and uh, yeah, I think it was it was already like pretty funny as it is like the dialogue was was pretty uh, it had a good good uh, feel to it. Yes, it has the the two D art style, which I feel like can sometimes feel a little. I feel jaded at at, at certain points, right? But it, I think yeah. it kind of worked. It kind of worked for this game, and uh, yeah, it it. It just it's just a weird it's a weird game because like I I went into it kind of thinking of a, like Moonlighter a little bit. I don't know if you remember okay. that game. Yep. Yep. Thinking yep. like you would have to run go in, in. running a shop. Right. You're running a shop this time. You're running you're you're running a blacksmith, you're a smithy. Uh and uh I thought maybe you there would be like another side of it where yeah, you, you gotta gather materials, but like you have to do it when in these dangerous situations. I didn't feel re- much uh, threats in the game, and you know I'm here for it. I like a another kind of non-violent game that I can just kind of 
casually play. I, I it's just like there was something very calming about this game that I really appreciated. Uh, yeah, I, I think the the user interface I thought was pretty simple and intuitive. Yeah. Yeah. There's a quest log, so you remember what you need to do, oh, you know? Great. Uh, and you can pin things. That was a nice thing, too. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, it's got the little tutorial, which was good. It, it was a good transition into the game proper. Definitely. Um, there's a lot to learn in this game, but it mm-hmm. doesn't do it in a, like, overwhelming way. Like, it teaches right. you as you need it. Which yeah. is, I love that when a game does that, and this game does that well. Uh, other things it does well, the the mini games I yeah. thought were fun. Like the actual blacksmithing, I thought yeah. was pretty fun to do. Yeah, it was very satisfying. I, I, uh, the most satisfying one for me was definitely on the anvil. Yes, um, the back because, forth, back forth. Right. Got to well, time the. Not only that, but I didn't realize like if you hit the right spot, you can take out more blocks. Yes. So that was like, oh, so I got to find that. And he could snap that off. I was like, oh, it makes sense. I like this. It's, it felt very satisfying to do that. I also kind of like the, the the smelting one because it kind of reminded me of like Gears' active reload where you had to time your, yes, um, you know, the, where the bar is, uh, where, where your indicator was. And, and that also helped you in terms of how much output that you would get when you're smelting your ore. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, that was really cool. I, I was like, I was like, what is going on? These are like, the, like this, this game made me think I was not going to like it. I'll say that much. It was like, it was just very odd that like all these little things like kind of come coming together was just very satisfying. Um, and, and in the way that like, you know, as you gain recipes, you have to learn and you have to figure out how to forge things. And this is the one thing that the tutorial, I don't think it said. But placement in the actual grid that you place the materials in to um, to build them, uh, like you know, if you're building an axe or building a, a sure. hammer or whatnot, I didn't realize that that mattered. So like, I was like, let me play around with this a little bit, and they're like, oh, I I, I don't see anything that you could build with this. I was like, huh, interesting. Yeah. So I mean, it does give you the recipe, and then you kind of have to match it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I wondered like if I shifted everything a square down, will it still craft? And I guess right. the answer is no. Right. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I, cause I was just kind of like throwing something up there and I was like, oh, let's just see what happens. And it, yeah, it didn't work. Um, like the, the game, I feel like also just rewards you. It doesn't necessarily punish you. So like you felt like you were getting positive progression your entire time while you play it, which I, I enjoyed. Yeah. So like, you know, and, and the one part of it is it's a it's a day night. So there's a day night cycle. Yep. Uh, the other um, the other thing that you have to kind of manage is your your energy f- throughout the day. Yeah. And uh, you know, but basically, like, it's simple. It's not like I have to feed the guy. I have to no. uh, have him drink something or whatever. Like he's not no. going to get dysentery or whatever. I, like I'm I'm glad. No, it was not, no. you, you, you have like, let's call it a hundred stamina. Yeah. And as you do things throughout the day, that stamina depletes. Exactly. And once you get to zero, you can't do anything else. So. Right. And apparently, well, I didn't get to that point. Uh, but if you, if you get to zero, uh, you're, you're like, you're, you just, you have to like, someone has to come and get you, which I think has a cost yeah. involved with it. Yeah. So. Yeah. You, you, to be fair, I never got down to zero either. But yeah. I did, I was down in the teens and you could see it. Okay. You could see him walking around really tired. Yeah, I, yeah. Like I thought that one section, like when you first come back to the forge, or at least like the, the town that the forge is in, um, he like he's just like just kind of yep. slumping around. There was that part. I was like, oh, okay, that's a problem. But I didn't realize that, that was uh that was a thing. Yeah, it's tied to the fatigue level. Got it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh what else did I like? Uh I liked the fact that I, um, that you can adjust the con- conversation clicking noise in the menu system. I did not know you could do that. Yeah. So like that it's because it's pretty loud, um, yeah. but you I cranked that all the way down. I was like, oh, okay. I don't have to worry about this anymore. It doesn't sound as obnoxious. So I was glad that I could do that. Um, but yeah. And you, you get to you get to like meet some interesting people throughout the People sure. and characters and creatures throughout this game. So I was like, wow, okay. There's a lot of uh, thought involved in this game. So uh, what, what else did you, you get anything else here you have, 
you have here for Tom for likes? Not not particularly, but I do have a pretty good segue into things I don't like. Let's do it. Okay, so there's no voice acting, <laughs> uh, yes. which means there's a whole lot of text to read. Oh, yeah. And I did not know about that ability to reduce that text sound, yeah. and I did not like the default text sound. It, mm-hmm. it, it irritated me. So yeah. good to know that you can close close it or reduce it or whatever you want to call it. Right. Um, I also didn't like... And this is related to the the reading of the text mm-hmm. is I didn't like the way the text bubbles were shown. Yeah, because there's no portraits. Like normally, when well, you look at a, a play a game like this, yeah. no, but you know what I mean. I, I like, get, especially since they had that cover art and all that stuff too. You couldn't just throw even just like you know screen grab copy paste the guy's face on there or something to the side. Yeah. They added. I, I agree. I, that was I felt like that was a little bit of a cop out, especially. As you talked about earlier, with their UI being really nice, like yeah. the, the 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 text UI was just uh, unfortunate. Like, yeah, right on top of each box is your uh, character's pixel, like you know, figure again or whatever. It's like a zoom in on yeah. the figure. Yeah, I don't get it. Why did they do that? That makes no sense. Just. Get rid of that and just have them shake on the bottom, like yeah, or just know? or do their names in different colors or something. Sure. I don't know. Sure, yeah, uh, that was that was kind of odd for sure. Uh, in a in an overall like, uh, I thought neat little package, but yeah, I well, it's not that big of a deal, but I still had to bring it up because of the fact that I guess you're kind of doing base building, and I'm not a huge fan of base building. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, But mm -hmm. it is a simple base building mechanic, right? There's like, you just need a few materials, you level up your character and and all that stuff. So there's that. Yeah. There's like, I guess a signpost or whatever, like at the front of your town. Right. And you go there and each of the buildings in your town has like tier levels Mm -hmm. and you can expend resources to move those up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, and I know you you touched on the the tutorials, and I thought the tutorials were good. Like the, it did blend into the uh, the game overall, and you know the, the 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 world that you're in. The one thing though is like I felt like there were some tutorials that were like missing or just like just not enough. Like they weren't clear enough. Yeah. Um, and like there is a menu where you can look back at the tutorials, and then like you could see some of them are just missing. And you're like, wait, what? What what did I do? How do I trigger this next tutorial? How much more do I have to know? And so it was kind of disheartening, I guess, in, in that way to to know I didn't finish. I don't I don't like I don't know everything yet. Or maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a positive thing too, because maybe there's another mechanic or something that I might might be interested. The game in. the game could be deeper than uh, that's true. That's true. Which as you the, progress the your forge and stuff like that, yeah, I, okay, I I can see that. But what else you got uh, there? Tom? Uh, so the game is pretty linear. Mm-hmm. It's very much like go from A to B to C. Um, and that linearity is a fetch quests. Mm-hmm. Go here, grab this. Uh, go learn th- what this person wants. Then go back to your town. Yep. Make the thing that they want. Then come back to the second town and give them the item. Yeah. Like it's, there's a lot of backtracking. And so far, there's no fast travel. Right. So. You but just then have that to would walk that would through the overworld map, yeah, and then yeah. But then that would also defeat the purpose of the whole energy thing. Yeah, right? uh, I, so. I get it, but yeah. it it just feels like I have a feeling that they, that will get resolved in the late game. Mm-hmm. There'll be some way to you know bring your resources with you, craft on the go. I right. don't know, right? Where you don't have to keep running back to town. Yeah, but I um and and because of that, I was trying to like think ahead about like. But like while I was in the forge making stuff, it's like, can I just should I just craft these other pieces just to be ahead of the game a little bit? Uh, so, but yeah, like I agree, like the, the whole kind of back and forth thing was a little bit frustrating. But yeah, I get it. Like you're trying to make a name for yourself, and you're just like you have to go find out what these things are. Who needs the, these things? Yeah. And it's like, but, and you so. do have a limited inventory, so it's mm-hmm. not like you can just craft. I'm going to craft swords and pickaxes and everything right. that somebody could possibly want. Yeah. And I'll just carry it around in my backpack. Right. And when somebody asks for something, I'm like, oh, I already made it. Here yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> I got uh, that. I did that once, which I was nice. Yeah. yeah. I got lucky a couple of times yeah. because 
I'm over prepared just as a person. <laughs> uh, but there is a finite amount of space in that bag, so right. you can't you can't win them all. Right. Um, the one thing that I experienced was, and I, I don't know if it was if it was on purpose or not. In the in the world map, um, you can go and you know collect. If there's like a big rock, you can use that to. Uh, for uh, you know, gather ore from there, or you can cut down a tree and and all that stuff. So, I had built. Um, oh man, I'm gonna mess up the. It's it's the other wooden um, uh, tool that you use to, I guess, cut down or or like strip wood. Um, I'm gonna I'm screw up the name, but anyway, it's not an axe. I know what an axe is, but mm-hmm. the other the other mm-hmm. one. But yeah, I, and I went in hit. A a tree with and it used that used that object or that tool, and I think I broke it. Mm. So yeah. then I went back. I uh, so and then there was a, a villager that wanted that tool, and I, I was like, "Wait, I know I made this. I I know I made this. Like, why is it not in my inventory?" And so I and then I I was like, "Oh my god, I delete. I I I I, I broke it cutting this tree." And uh, that was my only explanation. Otherwise, the game was buggy because of that. But it was really frustrating (laughs) when I just found that out. No, but definitely I noticed that your tools have like, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. Like durability. uh, Yeah. Durability. Yeah. And so they do uh, deplete it over time as you use them. So Okay. Fair enough. But Uh, it's like, it's unfortunate though that like it didn't, I didn't get a clear indication Sure. That it broke. Like I did see like a green bar, but then also like it didn't give me an indication of what tool it was going to use until I actually selected the object that I'm going Mm. to use it against. I gotcha. Kind of a shame. Sorry. What were you going to say? Uh, There were a couple of other little things that bugged me. Uh, I don't like that I needed to sleep in order to save the game. You Mm. can't quick save. Mm. So you have to complete a full day in order to save the game, which is to me is annoying. Yeah. Let let me save games when I want to save them. (laughs) Like, come on. This is, it's ridiculous. This, this is another game though, Tom, where uh, your character sleeps in his full attire. For shame. For shame. It's like Harold and this guy, the blacksmith has to go to sleep in their full material. Why? Why do you do that? Don't do that. Please be comfortable when you go to sleep. Uh, but yeah, that was that was quite a shame. And the other thing, I I don't know if how far you got with uh, that that wood town. I almost called it wood town. Uh, where there's a point where you had to go. Uh, there was a someone stole someone's uh, gold, and yes. you had to go and find them. Like okay, well. You can you can take this gold or like you could take the gold or give it back to the person. But then if you don't do it, the quest line doesn't complete. So oh, so you just have an open quest. Yeah, but then it's like, what's the point of it? Like, why would you? It's not really really like a choice. I thought if I go to the guy, I talk to him. He's like, hey, did you did you get my stuff? I, like, I would have a choice to say, um, yeah, here it is, or no, sorry, I I never found it or whatever the case. And then you keep it. Um, because earlier in the game, and I think you kind of touched on this too. Um, there's this, there's this option like on the ship where you're, you're trying to help this guy find his, his, yes. his mission log or quote unquote, it, it's really his diary. Um, you, you go and then find out you like you, if you don't, if you read it, you just tell him, yeah, I read it. Like, why can't I have the option to just lie and say, no, I didn't read it. It's just. Like yeah. just, just you give me all this dialogue options. Give me an option to just say yes or no or or lie. You know, but no, I, I hear you. And I did have some problems with the mission log myself. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a side quest to free this bull. Oh, and I went and I did it, and I liberated the bull. The bull goes back to my town and all this, but it was n- at no point was it entered in my mission log as like a side mission. Oh. So like I went over, found the bull, the bull was tied up and the character goes, oh, I need to find something sharp to, to cut the bull free. And I'm like, okay, cool. But it wasn't added to my mission log as something to do. Oh, I, I just kind of stowed it away in my mind. I went and found, you know, made a knife or something yeah, and, and then cut the bull free. And then it showed up in my town. But with everything else appearing in the mission log, it seemed yeah. weird that that didn't. 
That's unfortunate. That's I and I didn't I did not encounter that. So that's that's good to know. Yeah, um, it it was tucked off in the north part of the map. Like okay, there there is a reason that when I uh, put down the type of game, I put exploration <laughs> slash crafting. Okay, those okay. are the things that you're going to be doing. Yeah. is exploring and crafting. For sure, you don't want to do those things. This is not the game for you. <laughs> All right, uh, are we good with our other or dislikes here? We get to our. Uh, other I've things? got one little thing, which sure. is there's a character named Splinter, but he's not one of the rat men. Uh, there are rat men in the game, and this there's a character named Splinter. He's not a rat man. What a shame! You messed up, missed opportunity. Missed. Well, or, or uh, Eastman and Layer were going to sue there, but or Nickelodeon was going to sue there, but to quite oblivion. quite possible. Yeah. That's a shame. Uh, all right, let's get to our other thoughts here then, Tom. How yes. long to beat says this game can take 10 hours to complete? So not bad. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Pretty quick. Pretty quick game. Uh, this does get, this game does have Xbox Cloud saves and Cloud Gaming. X Cloud Gaming is available. So you can take this on the go and play it. So that's uh, that's good, good, good eating for those remote play people. What about you, Tom? What you got? Okay, so uh, this is Bon Tomp's uh, first game. Uh, they're an indie studio, and they quote unquote are tucked away in the New York area, New really? York City, New York State. I don't know. Huh. I couldn't find out. Interesting. I, I maybe I just didn't do very good investigating. That's all right. Uh, there is zero combat in this game. If you're waiting for the combat to happen, you'll be waiting ten plus hours because <laughs> it is not there. Okay. Um. And I also put down that there are choices in the game that lead to different results, but you know, I didn't see it. You know what I mean? Like they say, the developers say that that's true, but yeah, you know. Did you read the uh, diary, by the way? I did. Yes. Oh, dang it. Okay. A bit nice to know. I was thinking about it. I, was like, eh, all right. I, I just thought that I'd have the option to just lie about it. So, well, maybe the, the guy could see through your lies and mm. that's why you weren't able to lie. Perhaps, perhaps, but. Uh, I am I am ready to make a final decision, Chris. Are Let's you ready to make a do it, Tom. Is this going? Is this ugh, is this game going to be staying on our respective hard drives, or are we going to throw it away with all the scraps? So, Chris, uh, despite all the backtracking, which is something that would normally kill an experience for me, mm -hmm. I've got to be honest. My hour went by very, very quickly. Hmm. Um, I've got to say that there's something addicting about this game loop uh, that I think warrants more time. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm going to keep playing it. I don't know for how long, but we'll see. Awesome. Yeah, I, I'm in agreement with you there, Tom. I didn't know how I was going to feel about this game going into it. I didn't. Uh, you know, the whole idea of maybe potentially base building and all that stuff that I, you know, immediately turned off Fallout 4 for. Uh, just got me got me going again, uh, but this is a very chill game, like a game that you can just kind of unwind and play. And I, it was like, yeah, th there was just something like charming about it. Also, that I was like, okay, cool, I'm I'm down for this. And uh, yeah, I, I feel like this is another the game I'm going to go past the hour for and see how far my blacksmithing skills will go. So yeah, Excellent. keep it up, keep it in. So those are our thoughts. Let us know what you think of this game. Follow us and say hello on Twitter at TC1H1D or on threads at TC1H1D. Uh, check out our next streams on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 1H1D. And uh, yeah, this is on YouTube. So if you like this game, send us a comment or don't like this game. Say why you don't like it. Uh, and, um, and, you know, we have other, other reviews out there on YouTube on this channel. So check them all out. and. Uh, That'd be greatly appreciated. 1H1D is part of the QTV network. And if you like any great gaming content, blogs, live streams, whatever, it's all there. Uh, check it all out at quitthebuild.com slash network. Now, Tom. Yes, Chris. I think we have an appointment with the surprise me button. An appointment to be surprised yeah. by the next game. <laughs> How does that work? I don't know. We're about to find out. Here we go. Okay. And the answer is? Have a nice death. I, I'd rather not. <laughs> it's the game, Tom, not what I'm mm. saying to you politely. Okay. But yes, that's what we're going to be playing on our next episode. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to this episode, and we will catch you on that one. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>